Welcome back in TechDev Studio and in this video we are going to create a multiplayer explosive system of kind of like a bombing system. So we are going to create pretty much some um, different type of bombing or explosive system. One is the blast one for example whenever it will be shoot kind of like a TNT it will be going to blast or totally exposed and the second one will make kind of like a timer bomb then whenever we are near of it we can active that and once we are activating it uh, it's kind of like it will blast automatically or just whenever it's just spawn after that three seconds daily or five seconds It will going to be exposed like that So and the last one I need to make that it's kind of like a Weird bird. Let's say I even I don't know kind of like I am thinking uh, Something like that this flame type is effect that it's kind of like a throwing if you are looking uh, like a patrol uh, bomb actually so let's create and we are pretty much going to create assets uh, that it can be work in a multiplayer as well so let's go to first our the demo map so i'm pretty much creating everything in there okay solid so uh this is the current stage that you if you know that i already creating it for mobile as well so it's working too much and it's uh, already connected all the play fab stuff at here so it's totally working with the play fab as well okay now the first thing is uh um, we need to make it has something like an explosive stuff so let's make a uh, you can rather use a pawn character or actor it doesn't matter i personally recommend to use plus a uh, pawn or character because it's pretty much same doesn't matter too much if you don't want you, you can only use pawn you don't need to use the character okay so let's give it name t and t tnt baby okay now let's keep it at this and now for the TNT to be honest I'm not using too much any um, meshes or I guess any explosive icons such here or kind of like any mesh so I'm pretty much going to use I guess there should be a cylinder which is pretty much work like a, a TNT and just I'm going to change it to color like this and let me just drag it on my left in so I can pretty much see in the level as well right now okay cool so now let me just adjust it some like this okay Cool. and now for just understanding in development mode let's add a simple text which is it will be represent the what is basically it is so TNT and voila in X I'm keeping in an X face okay so oh what, sorry TNT okay. uh, come on TNT okay now cool so because it's an X face I always know that okay we need to just make it in X face and it will be work okay so this is the TNT Okay, now let's work on the inside of the TNT stuff. So as a TNT, we need that it will be stay, but it will be have a kind of like a laugh line. Like after the one to two bullets hit, it will going to be blast. So let's give it that TNT. And instead of the TNT, let's give it an integer. And whenever integer, for example, it will be in a zero. And let's create a custom event. So custom event that hit call hit okay so hit call so uh, instead of the hit call what will be happen first we will be try to in offline that it will be we'll see that if how much it working if you need any extra application we'll do that okay so instead of hit will be very very simple logic that if it's greater than equals okay so we'll be set the value currently three so after the three hits it will be going to be destroy himself so like this and make sure because it's uh, we need to make it network replicated so for example because it's keeping network simple let's try with the simple variant uh, version of it doesn't work we'll change it to any other uh, stuff or we'll change through the logic okay which is zero it's mean that it's going to blast or it's going to be exposed uh, and for the explosive one i already add explosive kit or a particle system so i guess it will be work for me so let's try first this one let's see how it's effect look cool and it's even have the, this one as well we have this this is more big i guess say okay this is like three time like hmm this is look more natural to be honest and i guess the duration is much more than they should be and yeah this is medium i don't want like but to be honest as a candy type stuff it's uh worth it with this one the last one 
so for the tng i'm going to use for example this one so like this and it will be have a fire instead of a snare okay which is will be good and also i'm going to disable the this one so it's going to be effect like this which is great okay i'm not sure that why it's hitting at here Oh, okay this is kind of like a weird one but okay it's good uh, doesn't matter too much and I'm not sure how high this is thing look like this this is look weird to be honest so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to use explosive P or C or side or smoke let's use the smoke variant okay like after the this one it will be have a smoke for some time okay and also i'm going to make the tnt cylinder some small because i do think that we don't need too much big like this so just like that okay so whenever we'll be hit that it's going to be blast totally boom and it, it will have a smoke pretty much for some time and it will be look great as well i think okay i'll just make it some more big and let me just adjust the height from here so i can understand that if it's in the ground or not uh okay cool it's on the ground now at here we'll first to verify it first we'll be disable the auto active there's where every particles or niagara system has an auto activation system so whenever we'll be disable it it's not going to be show until we you know give it some execution and stuff okay now we need a, some collisions that it can be verified that okay it's basically getting hit for something okay so or with something like any bullets or something so i'm going to use this pair collisions uh i guess capsule will be more better for this one so i'm going to use the capsule one because i can even then set the height as well which is cool and it'll it will it to be honest it look more natural uh even if you want you can use the what is called kind of like spear or might be some other one okay so because this is by default it's a dynamic overlapping we just give it on begin overlap if it's cast to uh, bullet let so if it's cast to bullet to be honest i have lots of different types of bullet 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 ai bullet ai variant too so that's right so whenever it's casting the bullet and then Whatever it will be do just if it's the cast is true it will be say that okay hit the call it's mean that okay it's going to be hit and it's going to be work okay now and also whenever it's done I'm let me just disable this kind of like uh, explosive okay now what we want that whenever it's just work that it will be do a something that it will be activate so active set active and then also i want that tnt mesh will be disabled or it will going to be hide so hide or you can say that set visibility so it's going to be work that okay compile save say our new visibility okay now click on play let's try to fire some boom okay it's it's worked okay let's try again okay cool to be honest uh, i think that it should be more big <laughs> but it, it's too, uh, to be honest it's it's, it's really very small uh as it as a compared to a tnt so i'm just going to remove that and i'm going to one the big one i guess the big one will, will look more great at here okay and for the explosive let's set it as auto and make sure that it's a uh, by default it should be on a disable compile and save now click on play now let's try cool now this one look i, I think this one I feel good but yes yeah, still we can change it later doesn't matter okay cool now the second thing we need to check it it's a replication like as a replication how much it's working or not so we'll first by going to work with the by default on real engine land system 
to be honest i typically don't trust it too much because it really doesn't give 100 percent accurate result all time kind of like if you're working with a dedicated server kind of like in aws or what because i work in very big companies and they will use aws so as compared to that so sometimes i saw that the unreal engine doesn't give a actual output that you are looking uh from like you suppose you are want something like that it, it's going to be work as in the server side as well so okay so this character can see okay let's go in this view so we can now check that how it's going to be work one two and yeah pretty much we are getting the same uh thing without any application issue and is even exposed it's even destroyed okay so will we can give a system like after that five seconds it's going to be this uh, destroy himself so let's now disable this thing all of this now let's go at here let's go to tnt and now we can give it a, a set life uh i guess it's a kind of like a live spam something yeah live spam and let's give it a whenever it will be done it will be then just half uh for kind of like uh five seconds and then it should be do once time if it's doing this okay so only do once time not do multiple times and it will going to be destroyed because i uh, i don't want to use it multiple time okay so like this so now let's try how it's work because if it's just try will be see on the tnt the tax has been gone as well but yeah if we still need i guess we need to do some on the uh, side of the tax i'm not sure oh my bottle is just full. okay let's go on this view ah sorry Let's wait for five seconds i'm not sure it will be destroyed or not because it's have the five seconds timeline i guess we need to make it the custom call will that once it's done it's, it should be destroyed from the multi-class and the run server as well so it's going to be properly destroyed uh i think if with the five seconds it's enough time has been gone that it's having destroyed you can see it's still there and yeah but however it's not going to be work oh <laughs> i think there's an issue still that uh you can see oh i'm not sure what just happened okay it's exposed now let's wait okay it has been gone it's working i'm not sure that maybe there's some glitch happened that's <laughs> for that the for first round it doesn't work okay second time it's working so cool so okay the first thing we have the our tnt system which is pretty good now we need that the bombing system okay for example whenever we add some bomb i'm not sure if you want that or not but i think with this pretty same system i don't want to make the video too much longer as a timer you just add a sample like whenever the bomb will be spawned okay just it will be then do the automatically the same thing okay so yeah i think it's uh, okay and we don't need to do too much work out here because i mean he's going to be as a pawn class so that's why so i think that is enough and to this friday so i need to go and um, thank you so much for watching see you in the next video take care